What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. Happy holidays to everyone. Sorry I haven't uploaded a uh, video in a while. Gonna start the grind once again. Today I will be filming the Agera RS1 that's currently sleeping in there. And uh, just a general review on it and why I believe it is the best modern hypercar today. First off, we gotta move the SVR so we can place the car outside. Let's do it. All right, just move the SVR a bit forward. Now, time to wake up the beast. Here she is. Take out the trickle charger first. There's the interior. Closing the door every time is just so cool. Here we are in the interior. So, first thing, as you guys can see, this is the key right here. The front, back. This car actually has a keyless entry, so you don't actually have to put the key anywhere. You just keep it right there in the middle. First, hit the button. Let it load up. You can see the battery getting everything ready. See the car right there. Foot on the brake. There we go. Cold startup on the Agero RS1. Get this baby out of here and start this review. All right, guys. First things first. It's got to be the doors. Look how cool this looks when both of them are open. In my opinion, by far the coolest doors on any car. Not just the hyper cars, just any car in general. These doors got to be the coolest. All right guys, next thing up, it's gotta be the looks. In many people's eyes, this car is the best looking hypercar on the road today, and I think I gotta agree with that. Every angle, got the louvers, got the polished carbon wing, roof scoop, doors, interior, just everything about this car just looks good. You can check out the headlights, got full carbon in the headlights with black anodized metal just everything about this car looks so mean next up transformers mode just check out how cool this looks the entire front bonnet opens up the entire rear bonnet opens up and this thing just looks like a transformer now we can go into the uh, engine details here we have a twin turbo V8 producing f almost 1400 horsepower on E85. E85 is a uh, special type of gas that's kind of difficult to find here in America, but we have like maybe three or four gas stations here in LA, which is pretty useful. We go fill up those tanks, as you can see right there. On regular pump gas, around 100 octane, this car will run around 1200 horsepower, which is still probably faster than any other road car, but the 1400 just makes this thing a monster. Let's just see the width of these rear tires here. These are the Pilot Sport Cup 2s made by Michelin. Very good tires if they are warmed up. On cold, they're kind of, car kind of loses its traction, but it's fun sometimes. Another thing not a lot of people know on this car is that the top can actually come off by just unlocking a few buckles down here. We got one here, one in the middle, one on the other side, and one behind each seat. And once you take the top off, you can actually fit it inside your garage, or it even fits inside your front bonnet, which not a lot of hypercars offer nowadays. You can see there, the shape of the roof goes right here. You just take off the roof, flip it over, and it slides straight back. 
super handy feature being able to take the top wherever you want to go. Now they're on the inside, let's go through some of the features on the interior. We got kind of like signature center console that's lit by a system they invented called ghost lighting. Ghost lighting, I don't know if you can tell by the video, but there's a bunch of small holes and the light is coming from behind. This was made because Christian didn't want to have any pieces of plastic on the interior, so he invented this thing that he made a bunch of nano holes in the metal and he just lit them from behind. It looks really, really cool. Another cool feature, we got the auto shift. So when you tilt this auto shift to the right, it actually brings up the rear view camera. I don't know if it'll focus here. You could actually turn this on while you're driving and see everything you're passing, which is really cool, but it's kind of a distraction, so we usually have it off. Here's the original starting screen, showing you what's all open on the car. Obviously the front bonnet, the doors, and the rear bonnet are open. When you click this left arrow here, this actually shows you the tire temperature and uh, tire pressures, which is pretty cool. Now we go to the seat and mirror. It shows you uh, driver's side mirror, driver's seat, and then you click this, it goes to passenger side, vice versa. And if you wanna get back to the main screen, you just click the shield in the middle. Pretty cool. Media, obviously, Apple CarPlay, music, and all that kind of stuff. Back to the main screen, car setup. When you actually click the racetrack mode, it drops to its lowest setting gets super stiff, made it specifically for track driving. You got the traction control, stability control. On the bottom here, we got all the different climate controls like air conditioning and heated seats and stuff like that. You can see when you actually click the hazards, here's what the blinkers look like. The mirror has these shields in it, which is really, really cool, I think. All the carbon fiber on the interior. On the steering wheel, we got the lifter pickup phone, the music, cruise control, and this is just to turn up the volume and stuff like that. You guys can see here, the little RS1 plaque in the center. We've got RS1 limited edition, one of 25, as the Aguero RS is one of 25 originally. we got the full blue roof. Every piece on the interior here is blue, except for the steering wheel, obviously, because you know we like to drive our cars, don't want it to get dirty. Got the blue dash even. Such a good looking interior. Close the front bonnet. Just one hand here. Here's one lock. And then on the other side right here, another lock. And there we go. Now that we got the front bonnet closed, we could talk about some of the achievements it's made, like the world record and stuff like that. As some of you might know, this car just broke the world record for the fastest production vehicle. Previously held by that, the Bugatti Veyron before our 268 miles an hour, well, this one came in at 277.9 in a two-run attempt, which is just insane for such a small car manufacturer. Everything built in-house. All handmade, of course. Amazing that a car like this can just compete with Bugatti that's backed by Volkswagen. All the engineers and stuff they have there. Not only did it beat that record, but it also beat the 0 to 400 kilometers back to zero record and only 33.8 seconds. Record was previously held by Bugatti once again with the Chiron at 42 seconds. That's just eight seconds faster than the Bugatti, which is crazy to think about. Small car manufacturer from Sweden being able to compete with the masterminds over at Bugatti. It's just crazy. Some people might think this car is only fast in a straight line, but no, it also holds the field track records. And I'm sure they're going to be back at the Nürburgring next summer to hopefully smash that record as well. This car looks good. It sounds good. It's fast in a straight line. It's fast on a track. What isn't there to love? Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys think the car breaks down a lot. And I know there's some stuff around the internet that says Connex eggs only break. They can't be driven hard. But guys, this car runs amazing. Amazing, amazing. Like maybe some of the older cars might break down but i know some of the newer agueras and the regueras they're running pretty pretty good you can see diffuser and race mode so low to the ground full engine here signed by christian himself right there got the 1mw triple x suspension now this is a rear wheel drive car so 1400 horsepower to two wheels is a bit difficult First gear is a little shaky, doesn't have as much traction, but after that, this car is a rocket. My opinion, probably 
the fastest car on the road today. Only competitor is the Bugatti Chiron at this point, honestly. But even the Bugatti Chiron weighs almost two times as much with only 100 more horsepower. So this car should probably still take it. Just look at it. I believe this car is also the most carbon fiber intensive car on the market today, which is another cool feature. You can see all the carbon. Everything is carbon on this car. Everything. Even the rods. All the bolts, titanium, obviously, to save weight. Let's talk about a few features that are unique to the Agera RS1. Roof scoop. The only car in America that has this hydraulically active wing in the back, as you can see here. It is the only one in the world that has this setup here made for top speed. We got downforce and the extra canards, which is only found on one other Agera at the moment, which is the Agera ML, the yellow one. You guys might have seen that. It's the only one that has that, the roof scoop, the wing, and the 1MW engine. So this car was basically made for straight line speed. It'll still kill the track, but obviously those other cars that have the top mounted wing, stuff like that will be faster around the track. But honestly, how, how many times are we gonna track this car? Once, twice, it's not gonna make a difference for us. We're not serious, serious track drivers. All right guys, I think that's all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this little overview and why I think the Agera RS is the best hypercar. Let me know if you enjoyed and if you would like to see one on the Bugatti. Maybe that'll make that my next video. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.